guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're gonna check out two of the awesome tiny arcade little mini arcade machines. Uh, these are part of the world's smallest line, which is very cool. World's smallest, of course, if you've seen these in the stores, uh, they put out all kinds of very cool, like tiny versions of various toys and games and action figures. Um, these are from the folks over at Super Impulse and Tiny Arcade has been one of their very cool little lines uh, because these are not only like miniaturized versions of arcade machines, but they are playable with full games inside, look at that. So we've got Dig Dug, we've got Frogger, and you've got the little Try Me slot. Look at that, we've got both of these games going, it's playing the actual music from the games, it's amazing. So let's go ahead and get these opened up because I wanna get a closer look at them and play some games. All right, here we are with our tiny arcade machines outside of the box, and just to show you how tiny they are, Look at that, they're right at three and a half inches tall. These are itty bitty little things. They actually do have little keychain things on the back. So if you really wanted to lug this thing around on a keychain, I suppose you could do that. But the overall design is really great. So there's just stickers on the side for like the artwork on the arcade cabinet. You can see right here on the front as well. And even the little banner up here at the top, which is very cool. And then the, the layout is the same on both of them. There's like one little red joystick and two little red buttons. Uh, look at the marquee, how great is that? No artwork on the inside around the screens, but I mean, still these look just fantastic. Look at that, oh, that classic artwork. So when you pull these out of the box, they're gonna be in demo mode. So you'll want to flip this in the on position. If it's not already in the on position, flip it off and then back on. Um, that'll reset it for you to make sure it's ready to go. And there's the speaker too on the bottom. So here, let me show you this real quick. Look at that, look at that little screen. It's booting up there after you flip it on. So cool, look how tiny the screen is. Like, hold on, let me, let me get the tape measure here. The screen itself is like one inch. It's a one inch little bitty screen there. So press the button on the left when you're ready to start a game. There you go, shows the, so the rankings. Press start button. And it does have really nice sound effects. I'm actually impressed with how loud this is. I don't know how good it's gonna come across on camera, but it's really nice. All right, here we go. Oh, we get it. Oh, that's the demo right there. Okay, so come back to the start screen. And here we go. Look at this, I gotta use my, my big thumb, but look at that, controls really well. Oh, go Frogger, go! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, I got one across, all right. <laughs> I am really impressed with how well this works. Look at this. Ooh, yeah, there we go, and up, all right. Okay, so that's Frogger. It works really good. It handles very well, the control's awesome. I'm gonna flip that off for now. Um, oh, you know what, I didn't even show you this. Like the marquee, I don't know if you can tell, the marquee actually is lighting up up there. Look, you see that? It's actually lighting up the marquee on the top of the arcade cabinet. How cool is that? Okay, let's bring in Dig Dug. Dig Dug is actually one of my favorite classic arcade games. I've just always loved it ever since I was a kid. Yeah, look at that. Look again, light up, light up marquee on the top, which is so cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, let's play some Dig Dug. Uh, see, I don't know if that actually started or if that's the demo. That might just be the demo. Nope, that's me. I'm playing. Here we go. Man, the screen is so tiny. But you know what? Even though these controls are so, so little, this works really, really well. I am really impressed with this. All right. No, you're not... Boom, baby. Boom. How awesome is that? All right, hold on. We got to do, we got to at least drop a rock, right? I love dropping the rocks on these guys. Oh, here we go. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so amazing. Instead of reviewing now, I'm just going to sit here and keep playing video games. You guys okay with that? There we go. 
That is amazing. All right, I'm gonna flip that off again. Wow, like I am legitimately impressed. These are seriously fun and they look awesome. And this is something else I wanna try too because if you're a toy collector like me, if you're watching this channel, you probably are, uh, you probably wanna know how these measure up with some different action figures. So I'll say that they're gonna work best if you use like three inch action figures like Imaginex guys is a good example. So here, here's an Imaginex figure. You can put him up here. Look at that, he stands great. Or we got, we got a little mini Bognar here. There we go. There we go. That is very cool. Oh, man. So look at that. So now we can pose some little mini action figures. So if you've got anything that's in like the three inch realm for action figures, they fit in really well with these little tiny arcades. These are awesome. I love them. And if you're an arcade fan, video game fan, just want something fun for your toy collection, I think you should check these out. I think you'll really like them. I do have to give a very special thanks to the folks over at Super Impulse because they provided these for the sake of this review and I love them. I think they are so much fun. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.